is Lance with HealthySimulation.com. Right now I'm standing with Gordon in front of Smots, which is a audio video system that's been very successful out in the UK. Um, but uh, now that we're at Aspie 2013, um, it's the first time I've had a chance to really sit down with the company and learn a little bit more about them at Aspie in Harrogate. So uh, tell me a little bit about uh, Smots, where it comes from, and, and, and where it's been in the last couple of years. Well, the product we develop, we manufacture Smots. Um, we, um, it came around from our original training of dentists with phantom heads in, the, in dental labs some 10 years ago. Um, we then developed through into simulation, um, simple recording to videotape recorders in racks, and then, um, then we developed that forward into network and, and running the video over the network. The efficiencies of doing that, the flexibility that that allows you to, to achieve. Um, we manufacture, we originally bought components for other people, put them into our boxes and then ended up with a solution, as many audiovisual companies tend to do. Mm. Um, in the last six, seven years, we've been manufacturing the product from the video chips on the boards through to the, wow. the finished result with wow. the, the, you know, the final, um, the metal work hardware side of things as well. Sure. Um, we seem to be looking at the mobile unit here, which is a really kind of interesting piece of equipment. It looks like we can really uh, kind of have a card that we can fold down. Is yeah. that, is yeah, that what is, we're seeing this here? This is quite unique. If I can show you. It's, yeah. Uh, basically, as it comes out the out the box, as it were, you've got that. Wow. With the arm on the side. Okay. Big rubber wheels on the trolley. You can wheel it around a car park. You can wheel it around a hospital. Um, do a scenario in a a shopping mall, you know, wherever you like. Yeah, and it's um, great that it's got the PTV camera because, uh, you know, obviously we need to stabilize those types of cameras and it makes it easy to pop it up and put it into a room. It's easy. Yeah. But, but we stick with standard components so we can, you know, you can, if you want better mics, you can unplug the standard XLR. Okay, component, and upgrade it wherever mic, you want to. Whatever you like. Wow. Loudspeaker to talk to the people in the scenario. Mm. PTZ camera so you can um, view and zoom in. They're Sony cameras, they're very good, they work very well. We now have an HD variant as well. Right. So um, our, we're recording here, um, and, and this is obviously, um, is this the instructor tablet here that's attached so to it, we, or? it? There is no instructor pupil situation, we just have the software, which is free issue for anybody who buys the hardware system. Okay. Um, so somebody buys the product, uh, they wheel it into wherever they need to use it, they will have the software on perhaps on a local PC. Not necessarily, they may not have a PC local to the trolley at all. This is just a clip-on mount. Ah. Um, someone somewhere else will be running the software on a PC. Okay. It's recording to a, a two and a half terabyte drive in a rack somewhere. Yep. And um, the control of the camera would be from that other place. So that could be multiple situations. It could be a debrief room, it could be a control room, a lecture theater. Sure. Um, this weekend we'll be in theater, in live operating theater, where we're filming procedures, about 15 operations. And wow. um, this will be wheeled into the operating theater. It will record to the network recorder. And we'll be watching it in the lecture theater on a five meter screen with, sure. uh, with a viewing audience of consultants. Now, Smos so. doesn't just do mobile units. They also have kind of uh, fix as well. fixed the server-based systems that are in. Well, yes, again, it's, we don't really have a client server situation. It's freestanding software. Okay. It's identical whether it's mobile or fixed. I see. Fixed, you save the cost of the trolley, but there is no oh, wow, big okay. equipment rack anywhere. Wow. There is still the same components. So. We have the Smots box, which I don't know whether you picked that up on the camera. Sure, the yeah. Out there. Um, and that will, that is the encoder, okay. which, uh, which gives you the control of the camera, the power for the camera, sound, um, and just one of those per camera device. Oh, so wow. that a makes it really a 20 easy. camera system, there's 20 of those boxes, wow. one recorder, you okay. can record up to 25 cameras on one recorder, wow. and that will record the video for a month, um, after which it overwrites. So you're not keeping video forever, you're just keeping it for a sensible period of time within which you can export as MPEG-4. If you want nice to. Nice standard format. Sure. Save the good bits, save the bad bits, sure. ditch the rest. Can we shoot in HD? Is that what we're shooting in here? Uh, we're not in HD at the moment. We've got two feeds at the moment. We could have 22 feeds on here. It doesn't wow. matter. That's completely flexible. At the moment, we have an HD feed from an iPad. Okay. And we have the S-video feed from the, from the camera. I see. And, um, but we could we're... shoot in HD if we wanted to? Yeah, we can. Yeah, okay. absolutely fine. Very good. The, the, the HD cameras, the PTZ cameras, are, they're still relatively expensive from Sony. Our HD box, um, the one which we'll be showing at um, IMSH, will be 
HD and S video. Great. So it will be ready for anybody who has S video cameras yeah. now. And it's good, it's good right to in. make that investment because obviously that's where it's going. So groups that uh, want to have that long-term opportunity, if they have the money sure. now to invest in HD, I mean, I always highly recommend HD. If they sure. have it, they can. Great. If not, then you have flexibility there, which I think is really important yeah. in, in this day and age in terms Absolutely. of the, the AV technology. And, and, and I think also it's worth saying that from the trolley point of view, there are very few people who do mobile, theater-friendly, I mean, we call this a drip stand. You know, it is just, it, 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 it doesn't get in the way in theater. Mm. It can be wheeled pretty much into any hospital environment. In and out. They can spray it down, they can clean it, they can do what they like with it. Yeah. In, in the theater itself, if it, if it needs to get over the, over, the, over the operating surgeon, it's easy to do it. It can just clip on and that can go that can go up to 2.3 meters above yeah. the operating table. Yeah, and it is very quick to, to, so, to kind of know, move it, in and, and, it's very and, easy. and kind of like transform her out into a, a larger piece for the, for the space. On the screen here, we're, we happen to be looking at a two image display. That could be um, multiple images. It could be a dozen images. It could be uh, one large screen image. On the left hand side, we've got the list of cameras available to us. And some of our centers have got 60, 70 cameras. Um, but some centers start with just one or two and, and, and then find they need more. On the bottom edge of the screen, we have the bookmarks so that we can um, annotate particular points on the timeline and then refer back to those in the debrief situation. And um, on the bottom left-hand corner, we've got the PTZ um, recalls so that you can recall camera positions very easily. Great. And it is as simple as that. So tell me a little bit about um, Smots. About how many uh, clients do you have in, in the UK and you're looking to kind of hit the um, IMSH and look at maybe a, a, a US market? Yes. I mean, we're in many of the UK hospitals, simulation centers, many, possibly most. Um, we're in Europe. We've got quite a significant presence in the Middle East. Um, we're a Scottish Edinburgh-based company. Okay. Um, 25 of us in the company. My father started it in 1963. Oh. Completely different product range in, in that time, as you might sure. guess. Yeah. Um, the small side of things developed in the early 2000s. Okay. And um, yes, IMSH, we are. We're putting our toe in the water. We're coming, we're coming over to see what's uh, what's going on over there. Great. We've had good feedback from the states in terms of people looking at this and saying, "Yeah, that's interesting. That might fit into a level here." Um, we're sure we can meet the bigger simulation center requirements, but on a sheer mobile basis and flexibility basis, starting at a relatively low price point, it, um, it will keep um, it will be of some significant interest great, to people. Great. Well, I think uh, if you're interested, where can folks learn more? Is it smots, uh, dot org. Okay, very yes. good. And Gordon, thank you so much for uh, talking us through it. Well, Appreciate it. Pleasure.